see if my mascot can wear the slippers. Okay, this is a good look. Alice LPS. Hey everyone, and as a lot of you guys know, I recently got back from a trip to Japan, and I have some pretty cool things to share with you today. Ba -ba -ba. Yep, today we're going to be opening up some remints. Woo! <laughs> I found these in a store in Ikebukuro called Tokyo Hands, and here's a little vlog clip of me buying them. Yes, I'm going to get one of these. I might get some more, um, but I could make a little Pokemon themed bedroom, maybe for a series or something. Who knows? I get two. They're 500 yen each. Should I get a one? I don't want to get doubles though. Hmm. Let's hope. I had one of these pom pom perone ones left, which is the one that I really wanted. I wanted to get a load of these because I just love pom pom perone so much. She's just so adorable. And we have these two Pokemon ones as well. I would have got a full case of these, but there wasn't a full case available, so I just picked up two random ones. If you guys don't know what Remans are, they are basically a little random kind of furniture pieces. Well, these ones are. You can get a lot of different types of Remans, like cats, dogs, animals, food, keychains, but you can get like little miniature furniture things, which I got today, and they'll be perfect for LPS videos. Let's take a look at their boxes first. Here is the Pom Pom Perrin's room collection. It has a little logo-y thing up here, and then there is a pretty little illustration of Pom Pom Perun himself. He has a very proud look on his face, showing off his bedroom with all his awesome little furniture. On each side of the box, it can show all the possible options you can get. There is number one, good morning, like the bed set. Number two, which is my favourite pictures, which is kind of like a little shelf and some DIY things. Number three is Pom Pom Per and Sofa, which explains itself. Number four, Fashion Check, which is a little mirror and a coat stand, which is pretty cute. Number five is Tea Time, which comes with a TV and a little tea tray. Number six is Internet Surfing, with a little laptop, a little cushion. Number seven is The Good Night Set. It comes with some slippers, a mat, a hot cocoa and a lamp. Number 8 is the Pom Pom Purins Fridge. And on the back there is just some information, and on the top there is more drawings, and on the bottom, I, yeah, yeah, you get the idea. And then we have the Pokemon one. This collection is called Welcome to Pikachu's Room. In the bottom right there is a very welcoming Happy Pikachu showing off his bedroom. Same as the Pom Pom Purins set, it shows on either side the things you can get, so let's have a look. Number 1 is Favourite Interior. Number two is Happy Breakfast, that is pretty happy, and there's even a little Gengar on the toast there, Oh, I like that one, I hope I might get that one. Number three is Drawing Practice, with a table and a little colouring book, that's pretty cute. Number four is Pokemon Goods, that set will be pretty cool for like, any bedroom, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Number five is Break Time, with some snacks, some headphones. Number six, Watch Television. Number seven is tea time, and number eight is relax time, with a very relaxed little Pikachu right there. And on the back there is the same information, ba 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 ba, yes. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the Pom Pom Perun one first, because we only have one of those, and then we'll open up these two next. I like all of the collections, but I kind of hope that I maybe get the one with the rug, or maybe these two, or maybe even the sofa one. Any of them actually, they're all pretty cute, so let's go ahead and open this one up. You just push in on this tab right here, if, I, if I'm if i not weak. How do I... I can't. You can push in here to open it up, but I'm too weak, so I'm just gonna have to peel the top like this. <laughs> so let's open it like that. What do we have? Oh, me, I don't know, I think I know what we got, I think. Okay, oh, okay, okay, get out. Okay, so we got number seven. It was one of the ones that I really wanted. I really wanted this little rug right here because it'll look really cute in little LPS videos. So let's have a look at the pamphlet really quick. Pom Perrin's room, the good night set, and it comes with slippers, a little hot cocoa with a lid of Pom Pom Perrin's hat, which is so cute, a little lamp and a rug. And on the inside, just shows an example of all the furniture in the set, which I want all of it. I want all of it. Maybe I can order some more online or something. And then down here is a little drawing. Here is a little coaster I think you can cut out and use for the mug, which is pretty cute. Also, in a lot of toys and stuff in Japan, they come with a little complimentary piece of gum. So it's a little yellow pom pom perin colored piece of gum. It's probably just the standard tasteless gum, but free gum and let's open our set and 
assemble it. Okay, let's assemble this. Here is the top of the mug and the little light bulb, so let's cut this out. Okay, so there's the lid, there's the light bulb. So I guess we just screw the light bulb into here. Ah, let's pop that in there like that. Let me take the adorable little pom-pom lampshade and put it on top. That is super adorable, oh my gosh. Look at this sweet print. Okay, let's have a look at this. This is the next thing to assemble. It's a little mug. We have our little hot cocoa bit, put it inside, and then we have the lid. And I think that is all the assembly required for this set so let's have a look at everything individually since this was the first thing to assemble i guess we'll have a look at the lamp first it's just a standard little standing lamp it has a bright yellow base color and on the back it says pom pom perin and on the top of the lampshade there is a little frilly part to where his hat usually is which is a really nice touch it's just like a little scalloped edge and he has a cute little face which is a sticker on the top there is a little light bulb detail which is really nice and even the base of the light bulb is painted like a silver colour. You can't see because it's in there now but it's like a silver colour down here which is really nice and let's pop the top back on there. Next we'll take a look at probably one of my favourite things which is this little pom pom purin rug. Super super cute. On the back it's just like a little licensing thing and there is also a little texture here kind of see but there's like a little matte texture which is really really nice a good little detail there there is also a texture to the front of it which makes it look like a little fuzzy matte even the edges of the matte are made to look like it's sewn over which is really really nice I love it so much there's even some stitching details on the pom-pom hat that is amazing okay anyway he has a pom-pom hat his cute adorable signature smile he's holding a little hamster friend I'm not sure who this is let me know if you know who that is ah, I'm so happy I got this set I really wanted this little mat so so cute go along with the fuzzy mat we have some fuzzy little slippers you can't actually get any of your dolls to wear these but maybe you could like stick some blue tack and make your LPS wear them who knows um, but they are so cute and fuzzy. On the front there are these little beady eye pom pom perin faces and he has his little hat on the top there with also some little cushiony details right in the corners there. This fuzzy droopy ears and then a little tail on the back. Okay here I have some blue tag. Let's see if my mascot can wear the slippers. Let's try and wear these fuzzy little friends. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay this is a look. My life is complete. Pom pom purin. I need to get these in real life now to match my mascot. <laughs> and the last thing that was included is this adorable little mug. This little mug and even the pom pom purin on the mug is holding a cup of cocoa which is so cute. It's just on there with a sticker and it says pom pom purin on the back as if you've just like bought it from the Sanrio store. It looks so realistic. And his little hat is removable. And on the inside, ba -ba, there is the little pom pom purin. It is the same as the one on the front. So cute. And you can actually take that out and put whatever you want in there. Or if you finish your drink, it can just be empty. Sylvanian families better up your game because pom pom purin is winning. This is the reason why I didn't buy any Sylvanian family things in Japan because this was around. Oh, I wish there were more of these. I can't believe I got the last one that was on the shelf. Let's open up the Pokemon one now. Okay, let's open up this one. This one's actually a little bit lighter and it makes a bit more noise. So let's take a look at this one. Ooh, oh, there we go. Girl did it this time. Let's see who we got. What did we get? Da -da 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 -da. Ooh. Oh yes, I like this one. Okay, let's open it. Okay, so we got number four, which is Pokemon Goods, and you get this little calendar, alarm clock, a plant, and more slippers. Oh no, thank god I have four feet. <laughs> and on the inside is like the pom-pom one with all the things you can get, and oh my gosh, that Pichu bin is so cute. And on the back, there is a little poster board you can cut out. Oh, that's really cute. You could put that in the 
bedroom. Oh, I like this. Let's open everything up now. There is also the same yellow gum. I guess it matches Pikachu's color as well. Okay, let's cut this open. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, yes. Let's have a look at everything individually. First up is this little Pikachu alarm clock, which is super cute. It's just a little small figurine of Pikachu. It even has his signature little tail right there. It's a really nice little figurine, and he's oh, fallen over. And he is holding the clock, and even the little hands on the clock have little lightning bolts. Next is this little calendar. It's just a little triangular white calendar base. And it has a sticker of Charmander. It is in October. There are some little full leaves and it all just kind of matches. The sticker is actually somewhat off center, which kind of sucks, but whatever. It would be cool if there was a sticker on the other side for like a different season, for like maybe summer or spring, and then it would have this one for autumn. Next is this little plant, which comes with a little Bulbasaur plant pot. It's really simple, just a white, and then it has a little Bulbasaur right there. And you can put the plant inside. Ba -ba -ba. The little plant is a topiary of Pikachu's head, super cute, and it has so many little leaf details in there. That is so nice, and there's even a little bit of like dirt detailing on the top there. And the last thing are these fuzzy Pikachu slippers. Once again, they have a little fuzzy texture to them, but I think these ones are longer, so maybe they would fit Sylvanian families better. We'll have to see, we'll try them on in a second. But there's a really cute little detailed face, little ears. But there is no tail on this one, like the pom pom parin, but they're still really cute. As a comparison, you can see that they're slightly longer, but let's try them on. Try this out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, girl. Okay, let's get the other foot on <laughs> quick. This is a good look. So styling. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So that was the first Pokemon remin. Let's open up the last one. Well, this one does feel a bit heavier. And it doesn't really rattle as much, so let's take a look. Ooh, that one opened perfectly as well. Okay, what did we get? Da 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 da. Oh, is this the table set? I think so. Okay, we got the drawing practice set, which comes with a little pokeball table, a little pot of water you can wash your paintbrush in, a little. I'm not sure what that is. I think that might be a lamp, but we can take a look at that. A little drawing book, a racer, and a pen. And on the inside is going to be the same little room picture showing everything you could get. And then on the back, oh, we've got something different. This is a little Pikachu and Pichu poster, which is so cute. we got some more gum. These are super tiny. I really don't want to lose them. Okay, let's take a look at everything individually. First up, we have this really large Pokeball shaped table, which is pretty cute. It has this little painted on Pokeball design. My only complaint is it's somewhat off center. There's more of the white part than there is red, I think. I'm pretty sure. It's very LPS sized. Pretty much perfect. Next is this little Pikachu lamp, which is probably one of my favorite things because you can use it once again in a lot of different rooms around the house. He's held up by a giant tail, and he has a little button on the base there to turn it on and off. And then a little clear light bulb there. Next we have our little sketchbook, which I really like because they haven't just put generic art on, they've put like an outline and they've coloured it in slightly as if you were colouring it in yourself. Like it's got like quite scribbly lines on it. It's just white on the back and on the top it is like ribbed as if it was as if it's got a sketchbook edge at the top there. Next is this little Pikachu cup. Just a little... I think it's like a paintbrush holder or a pen holder, I'm not too sure. But it has this little black mark here. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Let's have a look at the pamphlet. On the pamphlet, it doesn't have the black mark, so I think that's just a mistake on mine, which kind of sucks. Maybe I could get it off with nail polish remover. And in the pot, we can put a little black pencil. Our orange pen which has a really nice detail to it. it has a pointed end and even a little like grip put that in there too and we even have the classic eraser I would have really liked if there was like a little Pokemon print on that that would be a really nice touch but let's put it in the pot and that is everything in the art set and I'm super happy with all of the things that I got 
My favorite thing is either the Pom Pom Purin slippers or the Pikachu slippers, but I also really like the lamp here and the Pom Pom Purin rug and even a little cup. So let me know in the comments below, do you think I should get some more, maybe review some more? Let me know, and also let me know what your favourite thing was. I think I really dig this slipper look right here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!